side control top. So last time we looked at when we pass the guard and then we get into our controlled positions, we should give a ratty, but I do prefer my arm over and my arm controlling the hip. Most of Carl's escapes, will he will look to get onto the side. So my knees are off the mat and I'm just continually being heavy as a whale, putting all my weight on that shoulder. Yeah. We looked at a variety of different attacks, nothing too complicated, combining them together. And then last week we looked at, if we couldn't submit the person, we wanted to advance the position and move from side control <coughs> to mount or the back. We did that in two ways. One of the ways was, I was going to bring my right knee onto his belly here. Now obviously if he doesn't do anything from that position, my hand will come over and move my hip. But a reaction is, from here, when I start to work that knee slide, Char was starting to um, stop my knee coming across with his left hand. And once he pushed, he got onto the side, which meant I switched to control four, which gave me the mount, which we covered last time. But when he's pushing on my knee, that can give you the submission. <coughs> the mirror is there, so we'll show you just the fundamental way of doing it, and then we'll show you the lazy old fat man Chimera, which is a good variation to have because it doesn't require a lot of movement. So we're in this control one position. I'm not in the cross face. We'll look at that on the next move. My arm is on the far side. This arm is draping the hip to stop him putting me in the guard. Car wants to get onto the side. I mean, he's off the mat and being heavy as well. Now, from here, I'm gonna slide my right shin across his belly as if I'm going to mount. I'm looking for this reaction. Again, we can go, another option we, we looked at in week one is that can give me the underhook and then I'm back into super chill again, which is another option. But without complicating things, we are here. We start to bring this across and I want that. So now my, my right hand is gonna grab the wrist. Now I don't wanna push it straight to the mat because Charles will probably grab his pants or his belt and then we're into that whole scenario over there. So when he's pushing on my knee, I grab the wrist and I physically push it to the shoulder line. Already that's putting a lot of pressure. Okay, so from there, I'm pushing it this way. I want to get his elbow in line with the shoulder. Now if you've noticed, my left arm is under the armpit at the minute. Once I push that to the mat and I get my elbow on the mat, and again, they're um, thumbless grips, monkey grips. Now from there, I'll switch my base. I'm on my left hip, I switch onto my right hip. Cars, if I, if I just try to put the Chimera on from here, again, from leverage, I want to move up to the elbow, so I'm at the end of the lever. But Char can kind of get a little bit of relief from it by sitting up with his head. That's why we always want to step over the head and make a block with our leg. So Car tries to sit up from now, and now I bring my elbow under his elbow, and now I keep his wrist glued to the mat, now I'm just raising the elbow. Another way I like to finish from here, sometimes it's difficult to get over the head, but if I can get around his head, we can go for this lazy old fat man come here. So, knees off the mat, I start to bring my shin in. The minute he starts to push, I'll make this grip. And again, I'll be pushing it to get his elbow in line with his shoulder. Now from there, I just tripod up, walk around his head. Now the difference in this one is, I keep his wrist glued to the mat. My arm is underneath the elbow, so if you've noticed, his shoulder is off the mat by about the size of my fist. Once I'm there, all I do is I put my lat on his shoulder. And that's it, it looks like nothing. And it's, it's kind of unassuming because you're not even pinning the guy. If you think about when I'm finishing the Camera here, you know, my body's still over cars, I'm nearly in side control. When you come to this position, it looks as if I have no control over cars at all. But just putting your lat and pushing that shoulder to the mat is very uncomfortable. Let's look at that again. Sorry, no. Perfect. So one, heavy as a whale, knees off the mat, strain, flat and far out. Start to work the knee slide. When this hand comes in here, I just make the grip. And I'm pushing this to here. I want his elbow in line with his shoulder. So 
option one is a switch may base. Step over the head so he can sit up. He may elbow to his elbow. No, I'm not sure whether he's in his elbow. That's one option. Or maybe he just can't get that piece of thing coming all the way around his head. Nice, he may have him. Um, we're always taking the path of least resistance in jiu-jitsu. Sometimes you get higher grades that when I'm here, I do heavy as well. I start to bring this across, and when I grab Carl's hand, we talked about pushing it this way to get in line with the shoulder. Anytime I'm pushing it this way and Carl's putting it back, remember that straight arm lock that we looked at in week one? If he's pulling his arm that way, I'm not trying to push it that way. I just put my elbow over his elbow, and now I have that straight arm lock. Okay, there's a lot of detail in that guys, so just play around.